around a lot as a kid, and the reason for that is my grandparents, uh, they lived in Florida and they helped raise us. Uh, my grandfather, he worked at a gas station, um, which by the way, he was one of them old dudes that would make weapons. Like, you know what I mean? Like he wouldn't make shit in his shed. Like, like he had a sock with like $900 worth of quarters in it, just fucking hanging there. Anyways, so both my grandparents worked and they used to get us babysitters and me and my brothers were horrible. Like we ran through babysitters like the Simpson kids, like nobody ever wanted to watch us. So my grandmother had to find this last minute replacement and uh, I don't know where she found this woman, but she was just uh, white trash. She was like pale, right? She had like scrapes and bruises and shit. All, like she looked like she fell off a bike. <laughs> and her nickname was the crazy lady. That's what we would call her. She was crazy because <laughs> Because every time she would say something, right, she, she would repeat the words to herself. Uh, you ever seen anybody do this? She'd be like, uh, you know, whatever the words were, she would always repeat them to herself. <laughs> and this was the 80s, so there was no background check, so my grandmother's just like, watch the kids, and left, right? <laughs> so the crazy lady would never make eye contact with you. She would just always look down, right, and, you know, and I'm staring at her, she's not staring at me doesn't say a word, just peels off, goes in my grandparents' bedroom, lays on the bed, and talks to her boyfriend all day, which was cool with us. She didn't mess with us, we didn't mess with her. Day's going great. Well, end of the day comes, okay? And the crazy lady calls us into the bedroom. She's like, you kids get in here. I need to know if you cleaned your room, because if you didn't clean your room, you're not gonna go to McDonald's. Now, it's important for the story to know it was filet of fish Fridays at McDonald's, all right? This is... No, because, like, if we were kids and we were good, my grandmother would take us to McDonald's. And, you know, as a kid, McDonald's was the shit. Like, I still get excited. Like, I thought McDonald's was so cool. I had a cousin, Steve, that worked at McDonald's, and I used to brag that I had a cousin that worked at McDonald's. <laughs> and none of my friends believe me. They're like, no, you don't. I'm like, yeah, I get extra shit in my Happy Meal. Like, I knew people, right? <laughs> So we start cleaning the room because we want to go to McDonald's. And my older brother, but who was gay, by the way, okay? Well, it's this because he can make a bed like you wouldn't believe. Like, he, like, I'm dead serious. Like, he made it better than my grandmother. Like, everything was just perfectly folded, pillows where they need to be, right? So now the crazy lady wanted to inspect the room to give us, like, the seal of approval. I don't know what the hell happened. All right, because her head just started going 100 miles an hour, and she's looking at the room. She's like, wow. You kids think this room looks clean. It doesn't look clean to me! And just freaked out, right? Started messing the bed up, knocking shit off the dresser, skipping like a goddamn maniac, right? And I'm Roman Catholic, so my grandmother had those creepy saint statues. She bitch slapped St. Peter on the floor. So now my older brother stepped up. He's like, lady, why are you messing the room up, right? She doesn't say a word. She just pieces them, straight shot, just right? <laughs> She dropped him. I, I, I did the little kid thing where you laugh and then you freak out. Like, <laughs> it was like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's where the story gets fucked up. <laughs> My older brother told me to do it too. He denies it, but I, he, he was sitting there bleeding going, you know what you need to do. Crazy lady goes back into my grandparents' room, lays on the bed, and starts talking to her boyfriend, laughing about what she did, all right? So I walk in my grandparents' room. I look at her, she's laughing. I look at my brother, he's bleeding, right? Now, under that nut sack of change, <laughs> my grandfather also had a little baby ax, right? a little crooked handle hatchet. So I look at her, I look at him, I look at the ax, Right? And in my mind, I'm like, you gonna let her get away with that shit? <laughs> That's your brother. She bit slapped St. Peter. That's sacrilege. <laughs> I grab the ax and as hard as I can, right in the back of her leg, all right? Oh, relax, I was six years old, so there was a lot of torque behind it, all right? <laughs> but it was good enough to get in there. And I don't know what the hell I hit, but blood went everywhere. Long story boring, the cops come, all right? And they're interrogating me. And, and I'm crying, you know, because I know we ain't going to McDonald's now. You know what I mean? yeah. 
I know I messed that up. So now, right, um, when I'm sitting there, I'm crying. Cops are asking me questions. My grandfather comes home. I mean, he pulls up, sees the ambulance, the cops, right? He comes running in. He's like, what the hell happened? And you know when you're a kid and you're crying, you throw out one word? I'm like, filet of fishes <laughs> He's like, what the hell? I said, she told us to clean the room or we couldn't go to McDonald's. <laughs> and Scotty told me to do it. <laughs> And she punched Scotty in the face. He goes, whoa, whoa, what'd she do, right? <laughs> Beelines it over to her. Now, she's all crazied out, right? She's got her blanket around her, right? <laughs> her father's acting like a bitch. He's like, I can't believe this. You know, he's acting all crazy, right? So my grandfather walks over, and he looks at him and goes to the father. He goes, you know, I feel terrible about this whole thing. Can I talk to her for a second? I, I want to make sure she's all right. You okay, honey? You okay? Oh, you are. What are you like? Twenty? You're you're an adult, right? Like twenty two, twenty three. Listen, if you ever put your hands on my kids again, I'm gonna make one phone call. All right? I'm gonna have your father's head chopped off. He's gonna be wrapped in plastic, and no one will ever find him. And you're gonna have to live with it for the rest of your life. <laughs> and he looks at me and he goes, "We're going to McDonald's." Brothers, everybody, keep it going, brothers. <laughs>